Why do we get dark circles? The skin <laughs> beneath the eyes is one of the most delicate regions of the human body. Stretched thin like a soft, translucent layer, covering a network of tiny vessels and tissues. Because of this natural thinness, even the smallest disturbance <laughs> underneath becomes visible on the surface. When blood flows slowly through the capillaries in this area, the darker tones of the deoxygenated blood can show through, forming the characteristic bluish or purplish hues often noticed as dark circles. The under-eye region is also shaped by the way the body ages. Over time, collagen and elastin, the proteins responsible for firmness and structure, gradually decrease. When these supportive layers thin out, the skin loses some of its density and begins to reveal the underlying vessels more prominently. The natural fat pockets around the eyes may shift slightly, creating gentle hollows or depressions. These hollows cast their own shadows, which blend with visible blood vessels to make the area look darker. Genetic factors shape the natural structure of the under eye region as well. Some individuals inherit thinner skin, more visible vessels from their parents. These structural traits remain constant throughout life and can make dark circles appear even when the body is fully rested and healthy. The skin's natural pigmentation also plays a role. In some people, the under eye area produces slightly more melanin, creating a darker surface. Fluid retention also plays a significant role in changing the appearance of the under eye area. When the body retains excess fluid, whether from high salt intake or from irregular sleeping patterns, the tissues beneath the eyes can swell slightly. This mild puffiness stretches the already thin skin, making the underlying vessels more visible. When the swelling fades, the remaining loosened skin can create subtle <laughs> folds where shadows gather, creating a darker surface. Allergies influence this region as well. When the body encounters allergens, it triggers inflammation around the eyes. This inflammation causes blood vessels to expand and become more visible beneath the delicate skin. The itchiness that follows encourages rubbing, which further darkens the area. Dehydration affects the under eye region by reducing the skin's elasticity and firmness. When the body lacks sufficient water, the skin becomes less plump, and the hollowness beneath the eyes becomes more pronounced. This hollowness forms natural curves where shadows gather, making the area huh? appear darker. Proper hydration helps maintain the volume and resilience of the skin, reducing the contrast between the under eye region and the surrounding facial areas. Another contributor to dark circles lies in the way the lymphatic system drains fluid from the face. The lymphatic vessels around the eyes work slowly compared to other regions. And when their flow becomes sluggish due to fatigue, mild inflammation, or prolonged stillness during sleep, waste products and proteins accumulate in the surrounding tissues. This buildup slightly alters the color and clarity of the under eye skin, creating a dull or tinted huh? appearance. Long hours in front of screens cause the eyes to strain and the surrounding muscles to tense. This tension affects blood flow 
and can make the vessels beneath the skin more noticeable. Environmental elements contribute to the formation of dark circles as well. Sun exposure increases melanin production, making pigmentation heavier in the under eye region. Huh? Pollution exposes the skin to oxidative stress, reducing collagen and accelerating thinning. Over time, these external factors gather quietly beneath the surface, shaping how the shadows appear huh? each morning. <laughs>